In this example, we will look at how to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for a circuit containing dependent sources only. Consider this given circuit of interest. The terminals A and B are marked and this circuit has only one dependent source and this is actually a current controlled current source. When a circuit has dependent sources only, then by definition V Thevenin is 0 volts and the process of finding the Thevenin equivalent circuit reduces to just finding the Thevenin resistance. So let's see how we can find R Thevenin for this given circuit. When a given circuit has dependent sources only, then we only have one method, the test source method to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance. So this method calls for a test source to be applied to the terminals of interest and then we find the ratio of the test voltage and the test current. For instance, suppose we use, we can use either a test voltage source or a test current source here. Suppose we apply a test current source having magnitude 1 amp. So now our task is we need to find the voltage which is Vt, the test voltage across the test voltage source. This sub problem of finding the test voltage can be accomplished using any circuit analysis technique. For instance, we can use the node voltage method here. So we can ground this node and then this test voltage is actually the node voltage here. So we can recognize that by using the symbol Vt for the node voltage and then we have four branch currents in this case. So assume all branch currents are flowing away from the node. Now we can apply Kirchhoff current law to the node so what we have is this branch current is equal to 2ix because of the dependent current source. So we have 2ix plus vt minus 0 over 4. This is the branch current through the 4 ohm resistor. Through the 2 ohm resistor we have vt minus 0 over 2. And in this last branch because of the current source, the current magnitude has to be equal to the current source magnitude. And since our assumed direction is opposite, we have minus 1 is equal to 0. Since the circuit has a dependent source, we must write the dependent source constraint equation. So we need to relate Ix to the node voltage. So Ix is flowing in the circuit in this direction. So we can write Ix as voltage at this side where Ix is entering this resistor. So this is 0 and voltage at this side where Ix is leaving. So this is minus Vt divided by 2. So here we have two equations and two unknowns and these can be solved to show that Vt is minus 4 volt and Ix comes out 2 amps. Once we obtain Vt, then R Thevenin is Vt over It and this when we substitute the values is minus 4 over 1 is minus 4 ohm. Therefore, this circuit containing dependent sources only has a Thevenin equivalent resistance which is minus 4 ohm. This is the summary result. So this circuit containing dependent sources only is equivalent to a minus 4 ohm resistor from the point of view of terminals A and B. The negative value of the Thevenin resistance tells us that according to the passive sign convention this circuit is supplying power when it is connect when uh, when any component is connected between A and B. Of course, a real resistor cannot supply power and in this circuit, it's actually the dependent source that ends up supplying power. This uh, circuit is an example 
of how a dependent source and resistor can be used to simulate a negative resistance value.